Now then. All right, before we begin, let's decide where we're placing all of our runes. We've got the Janitor's Lodge, the Rune Scriptorum. Like I said, we want this to be on the lowest level, definitely. Now, we've got many names in game. Uh, an ex-adventurer who's fun with a round belly who's demoralized. Or, uh, they both got bad pedagogy. Lawful evil, lawful neutral, your unionizer cost more. Slows the growth rate of knees by 20% under the king's protection. When teaching, this teacher may increase your reputation with the king. That's almost always useful, because passive increases in reputation, super useful, generally. Presence increases the boredom of other characters. Boredom grows 20% faster for all other characters. That's an awful combination, though. Ugh. That is actually an awful, awful combination. Feeling the corruptocracy to keep the AC on and our dapper dragon chill. Oh, thank you so much, Shaq Ultra Connors. That's a huge bit bomb, my lord. Added duck as well with the 36 months while I was popping the AC back on. Thank you. I th I was going to go with you, but pretentious and poser together is awful. Actually awful. Teacher gets hungry faster, slowly loses sanity over time. But students in their teacher's class get bored half as fast. And while teaching this teacher may increase your reputation with the adventurous guild. I guess we're going with this one. <clears throat> Avak, a friend of mine, has got his PC liquid cooled in the radiator in another room. I have actually been tempted to do that. Um, I've actually been tempted to build my PC into the wall. Or rather, the plumbing into the wall. Um, such that the pump and the radiator are outside of the room. <laughs> Oh, Trickstar, thank you very much for the two gift subs. That's super kind of you. Yeah, we're going to be going with uh, with George uh, Baynard. What is George Baynard's true name? Banank. I think that's correct. There we go. Casey, yes. There we go. Complete. Okay, next up. A janitor's lodge, going to be useful. Let's pop that up here, though, on the next floor. All right, chaotic good, chaotic evil, doesn't really matter. What I would like here is people who are helpful with reputation or who uh, have a good effect on people's needs when they're near them. Uh, they're both voracious. You're unbreakable, reduce all losses of health. You're never going to be in a position where you're going to need to lose health. Avak, I hope the weather cools off you soon. We are in 40C for the next week. Please stay hydrated. Oh, don't worry, I am staying hydrated. Seriously, the chat, you don't need to worry too much about that. But thank you very much, Shimmering Two Job. That's very kind of you to say. Um, we, I think it was like over 40 down south, like a day ago. That was pretty rough. It was like red um, heat warnings. The full, the full shebang, like you know, regular broadcasts on like the the various um, like ads on on networks and uh, on TV and things in the UK. Just saying, hey, you know, your neighbours, uh, watch out for them. If they're old, watch out for them especially, because you know people are gonna die, yo. It was like, it was serious, serious. <laughs> Britain is not built for, for heat, really, is not. Um, so it's a growth rate of needs by 20%. Boredom grows 20% faster for all of the characters in room. Uh, punctual moves faster than most characters. Well, actually having a punctual janitor, as much as the ex-adventure would be good, a punctual janitor is super useful. Also, a chaotic evil janitor. I don't know, sounds appropriate. Pedagogy is appropriate. Unionized, yes. They're also going to want more wages. They're going to be a, a pretty expensive one. But Cynthia, what's your name? Your name is Dead Kingdom. There you go, Cynthia. Unfortunately, I have to click out to clear the naming games every single time, which is a kind of a pain in the bum. 
uh, because the the game does not like f me moving out of full screen. It doesn't have windless version. Aren't all janitors chaotic evil? I'm not sure about that. London is expected 39 to 40 today. Oh my lord, Darkest Dodo. I, I thought it was... Oh, maybe it's just another day where it's going to be that high. Dear lord. Supernova, thank you very much for the 52 months. Right, students hall, dormitory. We are going to need beds. We don't want students to have to wander away. Uh, we want them down here. Uh, maybe a students hall, though. Is it... Uh, which card? Is it shift? Which card? Ah, oh, there we are. Right. This one doesn't have an exit on the side, so I don't really want to... I need to build that in a very specific spot, because it's basically going to shut down moving up or down. I could always put it at the very top there. That might be an option. The refectory... Because you kind of, you, you really do need to be careful in how you build all of this. Um, I'm going to put you there. And we're going to put the students hall above it. There you go. Doesn't have, well, where is that going exactly? There is, there is, there's nothing out there. There's no door. All right, whatever. Five new students, but we need new houses. Uh, we don't know what our quest is going to be yet. Let's talk to the king. Aha, a new school for my kingdom. How great. So very great. And I would very much like to help, for I am a fair and generous king. What do you need? Our school would need funding, a new source of funding. Or help from the royal architects would be useful to build an advanced room. Yes. Enchantment workshop, another janitor's lodge, or an assassin's arena. We could get an enchanter's workshop, but that would really specialize our mana game. I think it may be better for us to get an Assassin's Arena. But that being said, we've got we've got some really nice uh, options with enchantment. I do believe. Do we not chat? I think we do. Yeah, I can't bring that up now. I'm fairly certain our enchantment skill goes up particularly fast. Um... It's not really magic, sure, but mages with a secondary class are very popular. It's true. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll go with Assassin. Let's pop Assassin's Arena down here. We've almost completely used up all of the room down here. Okay, neutral good or neutral neutral? Really? A true neutral assassin. This is like James Bond villain territory. He just flips a coin every time he meets someone to decide whether he's going to stab them or not. Absolute neutrality. There is never good. There is never bad. There is just coin. Pedagogy is good, though. No other issues. Slow go man. Inspiring. Students in this teacher's class have a small chance of losing a random negative trait. That is very nice. Moves a little slower. Uh, very slower. Poser. But... Ooh. Inspiring is really nice. Yeah, he's not you know I think we're gonna go with him because of pedagogy being better. Yeah. Okay, we're going with Kurt Hervey. What's your second name, Hervey? It is a Natty Des. There we are. Our master assassin is in attendance. The non union assassin. Forty-seven. I will leave you to prepare, Headmaster. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Let's grab a couple of other rooms. Psychologist is not bad. A shadow room is also quite nice because it'll give everything. Sh uh, necromancer, demonology, and assassination. In fact, definitely. Let's grab another room. A new house. Useful. Uh, the room housing this artifact is 35% more efficient. Private apartments. In this room, your teachers can rest, which takes care of all of their needs or prepare their next class. 
Super useful to keep teachers here. We're going to go with the private apartments. Finally, a common room. A room where students from the same house may rest and entertain themselves. This improves their efficiency in class. Or a light room. I think we're going to have to go with the light room simply because um, this gives heroism, retribution, and sacred magic. What we want is a way of getting all types of mana. Currently, we've got alchemy mana, we've got shadow mana, and we will now have light mana. These are you really, really important. Uh, light room could go over here. Then we can have reserve this spot then for a rune scriptorium. Put you there. Okay, who are we going with? Uh, mediocre appropriate. I guess we'll probably go with you. Uh, once again, exactly the same thing. And once again, oh, your erudite though increases the learning rate of their students by ten percent. So that counteracts this. So in effect, their pedagogy is equal. Or rather, the learning rate of their students is equal. But there are means of us increasing their pedagogy with artifacts later on. There is not really a way of me making them more gain the erudite speciality, I don't think. Lindsay, thank you ever so much for 17 months. And Nebula Bomb with 35. The Ochen Fowry Hound. At least my name went to a teacher. That's it. Good at pedagogy. Indeed. Yeah, exactly. God dang it, I was hoping I'd get to give my name to a lady. Oh, I'm sorry, Nanny Tess. I'm just going through them in, in order at the moment. Right. Naomi... Uh, well, I, I could put Kyle Ravenborn, but we're just going to go Naomi Ravenborn. There you go. Now, Shadow Room. Oh... Oh, ho, 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 ho. I didn't see you over there. Possible prison area, maybe. Um, anything special over here? No. Well, let's pop the shadow room down on this floor so it's going to benefit from the rune scriptorum. Okay. Excellent ped. Both of them have got excellent pedagogy. The shadow teacher. I like the idea of it being chaotic good. Neutral evil is just meh. Nah. I don't know, it's so cliche for a, for a shadow teacher to be evil. I think it's more fun when the person teaching you how to curse people and how to raise the dead is actually very good natured. Like, ah, you know, F the system, but don't mess with cats or dogs or, or orphans or people who don't deserve it. Bring down the corrupt corporations of the world by, you know, raising armies of the undead. Don't mess with grandmas. In fact, stop and help them cross the road. Ha make sure that all of your death knights are told very strict orders on helping grannies across the street. I like that. I like. I, I'm probably going to go with you no matter what is over here, unless it's absolutely amazing. Uh, no, ancient wisdom students are ten percent faster, so thirty percent faster here. Much slower. Slowly loses health over time. That's a shame. Uh, job lover reduces boredom growth by fifty percent. And you love your job as well. This is great. I can imagine that Jared became, like, able to teach necromancy because they just were so heartbroken over all their pets inevitably dying. They just kept raising them again. Okay, then. You shall be autonomy. Uh, Oronomy. Great, there we are. Jared Autonomy. There you go. Now, private apartments. I am kind of taken with the idea of this being where we stick the uh, prisons and stuff, but at the same time, it could also be where we stick the teachers. And just, you know, just to remind them that I, whilst we can stick the children in the prison, we can also stick the teachers in the prison. In fact, the teachers don't have parents who are going to come looking for them eventually. This is really becoming a dark avoc playthrough, isn't it? Oh my lord. Okay. Private halls over there. Teachers will have a bit of a ways to walk in order to get there, but I'm willing to sacrifice that efficiency in order to have the amusement of sticking the teachers next to the prison. Ah. <sighs> 
Havoc is ignoring chat. How dare. I've been paying very, very close attention to the chat. Thank you very much, Eric. Don't speak for me. You're a billion years too young. Also, you're not handsome enough. Or is witty, charming, charismatic in general. But my reserve was left to wither and wilt. And now it's, it's also been trampled by a horde of undead who are racing to let grandmothers over the, over the road. That, by, you know, let them over the road. They're just going to collide with the cars to stop them. Look, we told them to help grannies cross the street. We didn't tell them how to help them cross the street. That's on us, to be fair. You know, whenever you're trying to teach any, any, anything, any kind of lesson, you've really got to be explicit sometimes, especially with the more literal-minded. But thank you very much for the 50 months, though, mate. Much appreciated. Uh, Styx, thank you very much for the 38 months as well, buddy. The Ocon Varian. I'm having black and white creature training flashbacks. Oh, yes. Every single time. Okay. So with all of this, it's now, we've now got two new houses that we can play, which is going to be particularly nice. Uh, in terms of our magic, well, let's find out which students we've got first, shall we? Passionate worker, light sleeper. Okay, that's wonderful. Old-fashioned, loses sanity faster, and chatty, slows down the learning rate of students in the same room. Ugh, if I didn't need students, I would absolutely not accept you, Emma Uberwild. Uh, you're poor, normal intelligence, lawful neutral. Uh, okay, but light sleeper, which is great. Tiredness lowers 30% faster while this character is resting. Learns magic 10% faster, so that kind of counteracts. Well, no, that just makes you learn faster, not everyone else in the room. But you are passionate, so learns the fourth and last magic level 25% faster. We'll put them all in the general class, and then we'll have a look at the students we've got before we decide on the houses that we're going to set up. Wendy Forson, thank you very much for the 19 months, buddy. And speak about it. You know, if you send your resub message on an electronic paper, you can make it flash, catching Avax's attention. Flashing text is a tier one add-on for us technology prime. And speak about it, never change. Never ever change, my lord. Also, good night, Dead Kingdom. You have a good one, mate. Chosen by the light. Learns light magic 25% faster. Uh, worker, learns all magic 10% faster. Very nice. Smart as well. Learning rate 20%. Wow, okay. Anything that increases the overall intelligence of our students is huge. Demoralized. Slowly lose sanity. Also ugly. Lose mu loses much more sanity when other students are mean to them. Oh, great. Uh, child of nature, learns nature magic 25% faster. Shifty, misbehaves much more than normal. And hypochondriac, slowly loses health. Well off, though. Only going to be here for two years. A bit slow. That's a shame. Popular, though. Doubles prestige game or loss at the end of this. Uh, that's unfortunate. It's going to be hard to get you. Oh, well, you're going to be here for six years. And that's with one less year. Learns all magic 10% faster. Okay. Counteracted a little bit. Aggressive. Their insults make the triggered students lose much more sanity. You would be awful if you combined with the other one. Uh, slowly loses health over time. All right. Oh, my lord. Robert Parkov, you are benefiting enormously from the previous schools that we set up. You're slow, you'll move 25% slower, but you're passionate, you'll learn the fourth and last magic level 25% faster. You're courageous, you'll deal 35% more damage in combat. You're well behaved, you're a light sleeper, and you're a hard worker. My goodness, I expect great things from you, Robert. Great things. All right, so with that, Everyone is more or less... I don't think we actually had anyone who was allergic to anything, did we? Which is glorious. Okay. So, the first house is going to be our default house. This is, in, in effect, going to replace the default house. The only thing I want here is not any kind of um, specific focus, like Chosen by the Light or Shadow Disciple. I only want people in here to gain uh, 
things that will affect their learning, their, their, their school career, rather than their specific focus on their spells. Uh, now, Diligent generates 10% more mana while studying. Jack of all trains learns the first level of all magic disciplines 100% faster. Well behaved. I mean, this would be one to put students who were, uh, who had misbehave, uh, misbehaving problems into a, a house like this. Popular doubles the prestige gain or loss at the end of their studies. Double popular is amazing because that would basically mean you'd quadruple the, the uh, prestige. Diligent means they'd earn more mana, so they'd be a bit of a mana bank. I mean, that's not bad for a default house. I think having a, po a house that has popular is great if we do check in with our students from time to time, and ones who are about to graduate, we pop in here so that... Uh, yeah, the gain and loss, yes. So, you know, you don't want to put people in here who are not going to get anything. But if you can catch someone before they, they're they about to graduate and pop them in here just so that they have the popular trait applied to them, this can be an incredibly powerful one. The real choice is Jack of all trades or diligent. Jack of all trades means that at the very least, people in this house will learn the first level of magic quickly. Diligent... They'll make more mana. So, what do you think, chat? Mana bank or guarantee that they're probably going to get the first levels of various dis uh, disciplines quickly? I got Dylan because of you and Wanda, you scallywag. Well, I hope you're enjoying it, Arkham. I really hope you're enjoying it. It's fantastically fun. I'll never escape the electronic paper, no. It's going to follow me around for the rest of my life. Jack would pay... I, I still maintain that electronic paper is a super cheap camo in Shadowrun. 100%. Yeah, first level is generally already going to be fast. I think Diligent is probably the better bang for buck over time, but... Um... Jack of all trades would be only useful for if I had people who weren't going to be here for very long, but it does more or less guarantee I'm going to have some sort of um, pres uh, prestigious uh, graduation. Diligence seems like a better option for a finishing house, but if you have students that are there for more than the last year, Jack, yeah... That's kind of where I'm sitting. If we are going to put people in here, and again, this is meant to be a uh, a catch-all place that I'm going to put people as default if I haven't got somewhere better to put them. So I'm not imagining many people will go, will sit in this house for long. But again, if I don't have many people in here for long, then Diligent isn't really going to get a lot of use but i think i think we're gonna go with Dil diligent popular sure uh all right uh what's the house name do we want to take naming games for these as well sure sure we'll go with naming games this will be the mitsu house house mitsu and because it's named after someone in chat mitsu if you're still here tell me how many random clicks give me a same number like between one and ten i will click that many times and then i will color it to my my desire but we'll stick with whatever it gives five clicks okay one two three four five okay not bad actually uh maybe pink and green and blue is a combo maybe not the best though uh can i change that how does one change that i forget oh right of course over here over here uh so we've got blue that is apparently pink. The Aim, you're drunk. You're quite drunk. Let's go with a golden color, I think. Golden 
black, maybe. Actually, a sort of golden jade wouldn't be too bad. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, you can do everything. That's the whole point of the jack, uh, the jack of all trades houses. More or less, don't put anyone in there who's allergic to anything. Uh, as a consequence, we're going to give you. Blah, 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 we'll give you the grey robes. Tonk. This one is going to continue with the the brown robes, and it's generally not a good. Uh, if I see people with brown robes, I know that I haven't moved them out of their the school there they're meant to be in. But this is awesome. So we've now got someone in here who's going to have double popular. Yeah, there we are. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. The next house, I think, we'll keep hold of until I know what I'm going to need. But all right, that's, that's it. We're ready to go. It took us this long. This long, chat. Fuzzy Bear, 32 months. I've been waiting to see you play this game since the first days on YouTube. Has it changed, right? It's changed enormously, Fuzzy Bear. Also, I've already played through two maps in previous streams. Um, they are soon going to be going up on Abac After Hours, though, so uh, you're going to have lots of VODs to catch up on. Right. Time for us to let people make their way in. Here we come. <sighs> Good times. Does that move any fast? Oh, no, actually, it does slow down. That's cool. What are you doing? Don't throw yourself into the volcano. Well, actually, no. Maybe. Who are you? Um... Okay, Herbert Turnip, you can sacrifice yourself to the volcano for the sake of pleasing the lava spirits and bestowing great uh, great luck upon the other students. I accept. Has someone or really someone has already made an aberration over here? What the hell? How did you already manage to ruin a room? No one's even gone in there yet. What the dickens? All I have to say. Right. Uh, okay, we've got five students, okay. Uh, Shadow Disciple, well-behaved, down-to-earth, old-fashioned. I mean, you're <laughs> miserable. That's unfortunate. You are smart, though. Good. Well-behaved and Shadow Disciple, sure. Me too for you. A Goth. Learns light magic 50% slower. Allergic to crustaceans. Learns alchemy 50% slower. Eugh. Worker, well-behaved. Normal, well-off. You're only here for one or two years. Alchemy Apprentice, nice. Worker, bully. Mm, not great. Gourmet, well-behaved worker, heavy sleeper. I mean, pretty much everyone's going in here until I know what our quest is, because that we're going to make a questing house pretty quickly. Goth, learns to like magic slower. A chatty one, but very beautiful. This character loses much less sanity when insulted, because they're beautiful, so they don't care. <laughs> I love the traits in this. Oh, my lord. So bad. Map trait, Avac, random fires. Ah, yes, of course, random fires. They're tempering their body with fire, so they are immune to fire. This makes sense, yes. Wherever doesn't kill you. The Volcano God did not like your offering and punish you with an aberrant. Damn it, Turnip! Why did you sacrifice yourself? You've angered the gods. Avak, you can never escape electronic paper, just like Splat cannot escape being pantsless and covered in pee. Uh... Wow. Poor Splat. I feel like I may have gotten the better deal there. Right, the villagers send their regards. Hi there, we're from around here. We don't like trouble, and we're not fond of strangers. What are you doing here? Don't worry, we're exclusively teach sacred magic. Um, in accordance with the rules of the Church of Light. Do not worry, for our school mainly trains mages specialized in healing of farm animals. Don't, do not worry, for our school mainly trains mages specialized in necromancy and the summoning of powerful demons. Uh, we want this so that we can get some ma uh, natural mana straight away. See what we got. Dolomen. Oh, pick chamber. I really want you, but that's not going to give me enough. Up to three students can use the picture. Oh, see, this is such a good card. Getting this early means we're going to get more Goonie pigs out there. But 
Getting a dol uh, dolmen or greenhouse will be super useful as well, because we'll generate more green mana. I know, I don't understand why the Inquisition doesn't like us teaching sacred magic. Could build the Goonie pig chamber. But I kind of feel like we want a source of green mana. Because we'll get the chamber eventually. Maybe, possibly. Um, also, herbalism. The greenhouse will generate herbs, which will give us a source of extra money as well. No, they're not guineas. They're goonies. For reals. That's what they're called in game. Goonie pigs. I'm going to go with the greenhouse. Well, the greenhouse is going to lock the room above it. So maybe go with the dolmen for now. Druidism is always useful. Uh, okay, with that, I shall place this over here. Actually, I'm going to pop it there. Good pedagogy. Excellent pedagogy. Inspiring and relaxed. You move a little bit slower, but you will pull negative traits off students. That's amazing. X Adventure is nice, but uh, you unionize, but honestly, I don't think we can beat Lydia here. So, Swift Squirrel. Oops. Also, that's an amazing name for someone who teaches in the Dolomon. Who teaches Druidism, Swift Squirrel. That's fantastic. Truly the best. Uh, let's get something else. We've got a, we've already got a refractory, a psych, uh, psychologist or a teacher's lounge, a room where teachers can lower hunger, tiredness, and boredom while healing and increasing strength. We're definitely taking that. I'm gonna pop that above the. Uh, do we want the prison in the sky or on the ground? Maybe this could just be the, the teacher's area, but I do want the prison. Prison in the sky. Okay, so they can look down on all of the fun that everyone else is having, but be, un be unable to reach it. I get you, chat. I'm on board with this. I love the assassination room so much. <laughs> that barrel is amazing. Okay, the Adventure Guild sends his regards. I found a window between two troll massacres to come say hi. The opening of a new magic school is always good news for the Adventurer's Guild. What kind of mage do you train? Uh, mages who can mend folks. We are always in need of good healers. Mages that can blow things up. Great addition to your next raid. Mages that know how to use magical trinkets are useful too, sometimes. Uh, I would say between the first two. Chat, what do you fancy? Prison has no up-down connections. Ah, thank you very much for that. I'll make sure to build a couple of other rooms up there then and leave a, a gap. We've got quite a few people who are going to lose uh, that lose health. Also, already getting some aberrations, so let's go with this. An infirmary would be super useful. So an infirmary I could place here. Out of the way. Sure, let's pop that in there. Okay, lawful neutral, chaotic neutral. Pedagogy is good. I don't know if it really needs it, but it's inspiring. Wow, we're getting so many inspiring and relaxed. Scarlet Dobby. I almost don't want to take Dobby's name out of it, but... The Herald. Scarlet Herald. Oh, yeah. Welcome, welcome. We've already got a Goonie Pig. Uh, janitor's Lodge, Assassination Area, don't want another one. Um, wild Beast Plate, when a student is at least level 2 in Assassination and level 1 in Druidism, we can get both of those, they get a Wild Brass Plate. Oh, sorry, Brass Plate, not Beast Plate. They now gain one reputation point with the Orcs each time they gain a Shadow Magic level. Yes, absolutely. So that's our first magical item. And because we have the... 
This may mean that they only need one level in assassination, or it might mean they only need one level in assassination and one level in druidism. Either way, because of our... Uh, because of our bonus from the previous level, lowers the level requirement for wearing equipment pieces by one for all students. So, as soon as... We'll see whether people have those with just one level in assassination. If they still require one level in druidism, we know how it works. Havoc has given Dobby a name! Herald is free! <laughs> Fantastic. Ah... Uh... Infirmary has no side connections. Oh, you're quite right. That was my mistake then. Okay, well, we'll have to do something with that then. But uh, thank you very much for pointing that out, Akira. Now, as for you, Arcane... Uh, sorry, the Sneaky Merchant Campsite, Inquisition, Local Cemetery, Old Camp, Crow, uh, Crow Corpse Village, Royal Bastion. Hmm. Well, let's go back to that. We've got a small welcome. Greetings, neighbor. It's good to see tall folks like you here again. I come from the city under the mountains, not far from you here. And I have a message for you. Well, I'm a bit surprised, but please, give me your message. Rebuild the old alliance. There was a time when humans and dwarves were allies, but you guys abandoned us at the worst of times in a bloody battle against the orcs. I'm sure that today we could rebuild an alliance against the forces of evil, provided both sides put up necessary effort in... Uh, sorry, put the necessary effort in. What do you think? Use the local map to communicate with the dwarves and help them so that they become your allies. We can give you a hand if it helps create a new alliance. Alright. So now they should be on here. The city under the mountains. Yes, I want to see them. Ah, there you are. Pleasure to see you. Come here. Have a beer. Uh, sorry, come have a beer, old chap, and let us talk about your contribution to the forthcoming war effort. Well, truth is that I came here to ask for a bit of money. You dwarves have a lot of money, right? Of course, I will help with uh, a little advice. I bring you magic ammo adapted to the size of your siege weapons. That's going to require arcane mana and, ar and alchemy mana. We'll get five prestige points and reputation with the dwarves up a lot. I shall enchant your city's defenses to protect against evil. Lots of shadow. We can actually gather that, so that might be useful. All right, so we know what we're going to need. Shadow... And light or arcane and alchemy. Duly noted. Duly noted. But that still isn't a that we will have a quest to get a certain type of um, a certain type of future of uh, what's what's the term graduation. I'm going to keep this house until we know what that's going to be. See how it goes for now. Okay. Got some more students. Orphan. If this student were to die, you would not lose any... I, oh, that's so bad. Learns magic 10% faster, but you're a bit slow. You're also slow physically, and you hunger a little bit more, but... Oh. Uh, smart. Nice. Child of nature. Light sleeper. Pretentious. Normal. Old-fashioned. Chatty. But you're chosen by the light, you're beautiful, well-behaved, and you're a worker. Nice. An arcane scholar learns arcane a little bit faster. Deaf learns all magic 15% uh, slower, but that's fine. Allergic crustaceans, much sad. Okay. All right. Every respectable school needs a special magic discipline they specialize in. It is crucial if to be recognized internationally. In that case, let us be known for arcane magic. Only light magic is worthy of our school. Alchemy will do the trick. I know some people think it's uncool, but I still like nature magic. What do you think we should go for, chat? Where do you feel this one should be? Dwarves have never forgiven the elves for being right about digging deep. Shush. We've got one for four, one for two, three for one, two for four, four for one, we could do a poll on this one, actually. Yeah, you know what? That's that's a that's a fair point. We could totally do a poll here. So let's get a poll. We've got nature. We've got light, alchemy, and arcane. 
We're going to make this poll only two minutes long, but uh, by all means, jump in. There you go. We will find out where this goes. All right, it looks like Alchemy is getting the lion's share, though actually Alchemy and Arcane are basically fighting. Uh, they, they're more or less neck and neck, and, and it's changing which one's in the lead. Though Light is crept up really fast. Alchemy is taking the lead again. Light is now past Alchemy. Arcane is in the lead. Nature is way behind. Nature is lagging behind massively, and Alchemy is now starting to fall back with nature. Arcane and Light are now vying for first place, though Light has just taken the lead a little bit. Hmm, it seems like an interesting one. Arcane is, yeah, Light and Arcane are the, the, the two front runners. Alchemy is still in with a chance, but they would need to get a lot of support in the last minute, I think, to, to pull up alongside, much less overtake Light or Arcane. You've got not bloody Light again! I mean, there's a lot of lot of desire for it. I mean, at the same time, light can be quite nice for combat. Ultimately, shadow is the best for combat, in my opinion, but... Blood Alchemy. I keep thinking of saying my name. <laughs> Fair. Fair. At this point, Arcane is pulling way ahead of Light. Though, interestingly, Nature is actually pulled up. Nature is almost taking second place. Light is battling for that second place spot. Alchemy is now fallen to last, but it's starting to recover. But Arcane is just pulling way ahead. Arcane is leading the pack now by a significant margin. It would require a heroic effort for any of the other three to even compete with Arcane. But right now, it's Alchemy falling into the last slot. Nature and Light are competing for second. Really, that's where the, the fight is now, because Arcane has pulled ahead so far. There would need to be an avalanche of Dapper Duckers to change this vote. No, Arcane wins. Arcane won by 80 votes. Light came in second with 61, Nature with 58, and Alchemy fallen by the wayside with only 50 votes. So, Arcane it is. Arcane School, Tonk. Right. We still don't know what profession we need, so we're still going to wait on that one before we plonk down our final house. How's you doing? You're going to rest and stop being hungry by sleeping. I know that trick. It's very effective, actually. Slowly building up. Might be able to pull a shadow card soon. Right, after the first round of graduations, we will see where things are going. We're coming up to um, fall. Let's have a look. Steadfast loses 20% less sanity. Worker, voracious, claustrophobia. Uh, that means that you learn shadow less quickly. Alchemy apprentice, well behaved, light sleeper, coward, allergic to pollen. Arcane scholar, very nice to see you there. Bully, ugly, well off. Smart, child of nature, worker, demoralized. Uh, we've got a we've got a fair few characters in the school at this point. They're, they're slowly getting there. Okay, we've got some orcs who want to chat. Uh, I'm going to wait for them th for that to force it on us, so that we've got a chance of getting some more mana there. Okay, greetings, humans. Our clan needs sorcerers to fight the king's forces, so I wondered if you could help. We're real nice folks, you know, and if you could gain the trust of the orc clans and improve your relationship with them to ninety. Let's say it would be really cool. So what do you say? Oh, all right. Receive the quest, Wizards of the Horde. Reputation faction with the kingdom and the Inquisition goes down, but that would mean that we wouldn't actually have a focus in that regard. All right. Um, that wouldn't be bad. Though interesting that the dwarves and the orcs are at odds, but this will probably be an easy one for us to get. No curriculum goal is actually really nice. It's the first time we've not had a curriculum goal. Okay. Orcs must be at 90 or high. I think we've had this one before, and it's generally easy to get. Play both sides. Always oh, come out on top, indeed. Uh, get the dwarves up to 90. And produce a load of arcane. So, okay, the quest house for us will be arcane for both the dwarves and... Our um, arcane speciality. <laughs>